What's up everybody? It's Charlie and I'm back. So a few weeks ago I had a phalloplasty consult with Dr. Lauren Schechter and I learned a lot about the type of phalloplasty that I was interested in, um, MLD. I made a video about it so if you want to hear more about my experience or my thoughts about MLD check out this video. But while I was there I also learned sort of the first steps, the pre-steps, before you can get phalloplasty. Um, a lot of these I didn't necessarily know about or I hadn't heard about, so I wasn't prepared for. But I wanted to make this video so that the rest of you can know that before you even start making an appointment for phalloplasty, you have to have these things before. So the first one that you have to have is at least two mental health letters. Different doctors require different qualifications for people to write that letter for you. For example, I know Kathy Rumor requires you to have letters from two people who have PhDs in psychology versus Lauren Schechter who requires any sort of therapist letter. It could be a social worker, it could be anybody as long as they're in the mental health field. So the first thing you need is two of those. After that, you have to get a letter from your primary care provider, somebody who prescribes you hormones, because you have to have been on hormones for, I think, at least a year before getting phalloplasty. Another thing that I didn't know about those letters, all of the letters, is that after a year, they expire. Um, this was hard for me because I knew about the letters so I had went ahead and gotten um, a letter from a psychiatrist but it, it ended up expiring by the time I went and did my consult. So that's something to think about that you have to time it just right to have your letters within the same year that you get phalloplasty done. The third thing that you have to get is a hysterectomy. Pretty much all sorts of phalloplasty require you to have a hysterectomy, but especially if you plan to get a vaginectomy. If you plan to have them close up your front hole, then you do have to get a hysterectomy so that they make sure, because there won't be any way to check that stuff for cancer later. Also with the hysterectomy, you have to wait at least three months of healing before you can schedule your phalloplasty. So just another thing to think about when it comes to timing, that you have to get your letters within the same year and then get that hysterectomy all within the same year as you get phalloplasty. So it ends up being like a year and a half of surgeries basically if you get them all back to back. You also have to get electrolysis or hair removal on the area that you plan to use and that is an out of pocket cost. So that's just something to think about as you plan your life for before, after, and during phalloplasty. But these are just the steps that you have to get from the very beginning. I hope this video has been helpful. Definitely like and subscribe to see more like this and to follow my journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuce.